Ooh, code zero. Hoo, hoo, hoo. They're gonna be lit. Okay, well, I'm pumping up here. Code zero, single strut kite, uh, bringing back the name from you know, uh, the sailing world. So they're starting to tap into some of their sailing prowess with the name Code Zero. Single strut kite design, it looks kind of like a carb they took two struts out of. You know, they basically are want to have a kite you can foil, but also onshore wave ride and just user friendly. So it's probably gonna be lit on this thing foiling, but we'll try. So much easier to pump up a kite than a wing. It's crazy, this nine meter kite holds way less air than like a five meter wing or four meter wing. Kite looks nice, feels really lightweight. Fuller wing tip, fuller body. Yeah, looks good. One of the things that North is doing a really good job of focusing on is making whatever sport they're making easy. The foils, easy to put together. Uh, you know, pretty straightforward. They got numbers on the, the nuts and they got numbers on the, the hole where it's supposed to go. So you know which ones goes where. Pigtails, the same pigtails that are on a kite are on the lines and they're just reversed. So there's not a lot of knots or any sort of nonsense. That's that. Red color on the left. thing yeah, there's not like a lot of knots on the end there and adjustment things that's where people always get screwed up with tuning a kite and just can't figure it out and so it's just like they're doing a great job just making the stuff easy okay rigged up i think i got plenty of time looks like this little rain stuff it's not the prettiest day but it's warm and uh i'm probably gonna get pretty lit here so Gonna try it out. Beginner setup. Got the code zero. Beginner foil kite, I hope. Uh, Cause I haven't done this in a while. So, all right, let's get the harness on, get out there. Okay, so North has designed the code zero to be a single strut, lightweight, easy to use foil kite for kite foil. They also said they wanted to make it for uh, using it on um, waves, like onshore waves and stuff. And you can see it's got a pretty fat center there pretty full wing tip so you know i've i've flown this kite once not kite foiling but just uh kiting it on a kite surfboard and it was like nice and really user friendly i've been using the reach because it's so user friendly it kind of works in absolutely everything so you know that's kind of been my go-to reach you know the reach so i'll be interested to see is like what's the why with the code zero like is it really worth it or am i just better off riding the reach uh, and at some point i'll ride them back to back that's the best way to tell but uh, we'll give it a give it a shot and see how it goes here we go yeah don't feel that powered which is good because i was a little afraid my first session back on the on the foil was going to be totally jacked but yeah just feeling this thing like let go of the bar just sitting there and obviously it's in the side of the window but any kite you can fully sheet out on the beach and just let it go have it sit there, it's a pretty good first time. Mona Truth, strapless water start switch stance. <laughs> this is gonna be funny. I have never done on foil 
foot switch, but I'm getting them winging, so I'm gonna try it tighting. Let's see. Woo! Segway style, got it. Okay, so I'm just drifting down. Let's see how it drifts. Yeah, kind of easy. Oh, Lord. Oh, no, that. Little recovery turn. Oh, power now. Check this thing out. Ooh. Okay, got it out of the window. Just pull this sheet out. Nice. We've ridden a lot of kites in our day. A lot of feedback, and this is definitely a very user-friendly kite. Nice to see. All right, let's put it overhead and go downwind at it. That stays really connected. Sheet in the bar, got connection to the lines. Can one hand kite steer it pretty easily. Definitely, when it gets in the wind window, power's on, you gotta edge a little harder, but feels good. See how it turns without a lot of with a, a lot of slack in its line. Huh. Nice. Easy peasy. See the other way. Yeah, really connected. Um, definitely fun, fun kite. You know, I mean, I think any kite, kite flying, you get to do weird stuff. Um, it feels overall pretty good. But try just a regular old toe side turn. A little far at the edge of the window, let's loop it. Yeah, not bad, I'm liking it. Yeah, pretty easy to ride, liking this thing. Definitely like when it gets mid power zone, low in the window, come out of a turn and it's there, you you gotta edge it. Um, it's not gonna just slide to the side of the window uh, because it's definitely a bit of a fatty of a kite, but uh, pretty comfortable though, like overall, nice and controlled. It kind of does what you expect, which is what you want with this type of kite. gonna try and keep the board on my feet here. Pull the outside line, see what it does. Well, that's kind of a cool way to start. Okay, next attempt, foot switch the opposite way. Let's see if I get this. Big board, big foot. Come on, New Z. <laughs> yes, two for two. Here we go. Cook City, let's go. Alrighty, three for three. Come on, code zero, let's do this. <laughs> Not pretty, but it's happening. Go zero. Winning. Oh. Okay, yeah, that one I slacked out the lines and left it at the side of the window. Uh, it did recover pretty well. I just had to kind of yank on the bar. You know, when it comes with any foil kite, when it comes racing through the window, it's gonna flap like crazy. You know, just because it's only got a single strut or no struts or something like that. Um, 
but it, it did pretty well. It didn't like just totally freaking launch me in the, in, off the, the edge of the board. So I'm pretty happy about that. So this Code Zero, it has, you know, with the fatter design, like that fatter center section you can see there, um, you know, what it does is that it gives you good lift when it's overhead. So whether the kite's like up here, way up here in the wind window, uh, I've got a decent amount of lift and kind of similar amount of power. Whereas if it's down here, out in front of you, and I'm just edging a wind, it, it also has similar amount of power, you know? So it has like the same feel wherever it is in the wind window, which is really nice for this single strut uh, type of kite. I've written other kites in this design that are not quite as fat, uh, fat center in the center strut, and they, you know, are quicker, more performance oriented, but they're harder to ride. It takes more of a, it's more of a sport flying uh, type of ride, whereas this is like a sheet in, go ride it's not you know it turns plenty quick it's just not going to be like your super fat responsive kite but like if this is like hey i want a kite boiling kite but i also want something i can um you know just ride as a regular kiteboarding kite you know on a twin tip or a surfboard i think the code zero is, a, is definitely a, a really strong consideration okay, let's try it try it down loop see how it goes predictably which is kind of what you want um, drifts well with like the lines stay connected until you actually just really slack them which on a foil is pretty easy to do um, when you're kite foiling because you, you have you can just go right at the kite okay let's try deep water kite start see if i can pull this off this time Cooking out hard. I'm almost there. Never done it before, but we're trying. Deep water kite start. Try seven. <laughs> Wasn't pretty, but got it. <laughs> kind of fun to try doing new stuff. Alrighty, Code Zero overview. Very fun kite. Uh, really nice for what they've made it for. For kite foiling and for onshore wave riding, single stride, you know, this is an excellent kite. Would I trade in my reaches for these? No. Would I add this in as a kite foil kite in the size 9 meter? Definitely. Um, just for days like today, just cruise around in this over the reach. It just makes it, it's just made for this type of condition. You know, one thing I've noticed is that like when you do slack the line, you can backstall it. Um, that's going to be pretty, pretty typical of most kites, but you can kind of spin it out of it really easily. Um, and it's just a very user-friendly kite. So I would say this is more on the beginner intermediate kite foiling kite, um, which is what a lot of people, you know, Norris bringing in a ton of people from the sailing world. And that's what a lot of people are going to be. And, and it's like, you're not going to win races on this kite, but you will learn to kite foil and have a blast with it. And, um, you know, Norse making, focusing on the beginner, which is what we do at Real. And I think this is going to do well in the school and it's going to do well for our customers that want to have a kite that's just super user friendly and easy. So um, get more questions, want more reviews on, uh, on the Code Zero. We'll be riding a bunch of the team riders at the shop have been riding it and, and enjoying it. So give us a call 252-987-6000. Reach out online, realwatersports.com. Session time. <laughs>